What's up YouTube, KJX1337 here again, and uh, today's video is going to be very short. I've um, been putting out a lot of excessively long ones to the point where it's cutting me off. <laughs> so I'm going to work on trying to, um, um, when I put out a video, see if I can't keep it between 25 to 35 minutes. I don't really want to pass 40 minutes anymore because I hate when the end of my content gets cut off. And honestly, I mean, yeah, you, you guys might like that. I haven't heard any feedback, though, um, on whether or not you do I like the lengthier videos or if you like just a little quick one you can watch. Because um, not everybody has 45 to 50 minutes to sit down and watch a video anyway. So that's kind of some of my future plans. I've got a few videos mapped out for you guys on what I want to do. Um... So I, I've got those tallied down. So be looking out for some new content coming in the next week or two. Um, as far as content from me on gameplay and whatnot. But if you have any type of video that you'd like to see, like if you just want to see more SFC fights or you want to see me grind out my dailies or you really want to see me push through Swole a little bit more. Um, I mean, all that kind of stuff's probably coming up anyway. Like I said, I've got ideas. But, um, you know, hell, if you want, like, just a tutorial or kind of, like, basic info on certain things, I could try to whip together a video like that. Um, but anyway, today is a short video. Um, I was informed there's a new box. So we're just going to kind of do a quick review on it. And then I don't have a ton of gems, so I might, uh, I might do a three-pull. Um, but I, I can't like do a 10, 10 pull or buy out the box. I don't have the gems right now. Uh, that depends on how it looks too. I haven't even seen it yet. First, let's go ahead and collect this, uh, rewards here. So it looks like we got 84 points. We finished 2,748. Uh, I did miss the last chance to play them today before the timer cut off as I fell back asleep this morning and I woke up like right at one. Well, one o'clock here, which you know, I've been up for about an hour. Still feel kind of tired and groggy. Um, plus, I don't have a ton of time today since I, you know, wasted half my day sleeping. Uh, so we'll get those rewards. Delete. Close. And um, I don't think we have enough. Oh, wrong thing. I don't. Man, fat fingers today. I don't think we, uh, yeah, look at that. Mythic Stones is almost there, so be on the lookout um, for my next Mythic reveal. It should be coming up in in less than a month. Um, minimum of minimum of two weeks away, uh, less than a month. So that's kind of your time frame to be looking out for my new Mythic. Uh, I, I, I hope it's a new Mythic, at least. It could be an upgrade. Um, to my knowledge, since Bob is in Swole, he is still not in the um, the Mythic Pool to, to you know get with the stones. So I've got a one in five shot of upgrading my Peggy, and I've got a four in five shot of collecting a new Mythic. So either way, I'll be excited. But with those odds, I'd really hope I get a new one. Uh, personally, really would love to have Stan and Leela. I would be okay with Stewie and Luis as well, though. Um, more so Stewie, specifically because Armed is going on, and Sniper Stewie is amazing. But anyway, that's enough about that. Um, I know this is only going to be one, but let's do the hero token pull, because one thing we're going to be doing soon is uh, going fairly heavy in SFC coming up. Um Specifically, I'm going to be searching again like I did way back in the day uh, when I was trying to get Stan to level 10 for the first time. Well, for some reason, they've been uh, blessing me, if you want to call it that, with uh, Steve tokens quite a bit. As as Steve is uh, ahead of the game right now, <laughs> not that I'll play as him, but he is looking like he's going to be my first level 11 character. And I really want to finish that quest. Uh, it's been sitting in there for far too long. So the quest for Steve tokens will be coming up soon. Um, let's go ahead and just see who we pull today. Once I can get a character to level 11, I'll switch back to 
super epic pack. Okay, we got Roger. Um, well, actually, I mean, look at that. Roger's pretty far, too. 85. Let me check that real quick. Sorry, guys. This video is going to drag on longer than it's supposed to. That tends to happen. <laughs> okay, Roger's at 85. And where's where's Steve? Steve sucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. If you play as Steve, that's fine. Uh, he's not for me. Also, you have to pretty much have a good American Dad deck for him to be worth it. And if you do, then yeah, by all means. Okay, yeah, Steve is still quite a ways farther. Yeah, he needs less than 50. So, um, <clears throat> if I kind of personally grind out some off camera, um, and then we kind of just set a video or two specifically to trying to chase down Steve tokens, that should be achievable uh, pretty soon. So... Like I said, that's one thing that's coming up. I got some other video ideas. Um, and, like, we will review Swole because it's running out of time. Not today. But um, I want to get at least two more Swole videos in there before it's done. And it's done in about six days. So, I mean, that gives you a time frame or, of when those will be out. Uh, also, Mombox. Mombox is going to be... Depending on how I put these videos out, Mombox is only going to be getting pulled for about another week or two. Uh, and then I'm going to stop because it is a waste of my gems at this point. I have done a daily pull, sometimes two or three pulls. Um, and I'm getting like the worst rewards almost every time it seems like. I know a guy who's in my guild who transferred to Ministry Darkness with me from Optic. And he only does one pull a day as well. He's pulled Bob twice. So his Bob is like level five right now, maybe maybe level four, but it's it's up there. Like, um, I don't know how people can get that lucky, and then I just feel like I get ripped off. <laughs> so here's a mom box pull for you guys. Four Brian tokens. You could have at least gave us Steve. <laughs> All right, we'll close out of that. And anyway, what we're actually here for today, like I said, is that box review. Now, if you go in the shop. I just did that. Um, and Oh, it is there now. It was not there when I logged into the game. I scrolled through this and I'm like, what? I was told there was a new box. So here it is, though. It's here. Uh, Pirate Cannon Box, which this is an exciting one. I wish I could probably buy this out because that Pirate Cannon Peter is pretty awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and check it out now. Pirate Cannon Peter. Okay, so if you're looking at a quad, this is your legendary PC card, um, which means you can make Peter combo here with your Peter cards. Anyway, you're looking at 19 attack. That's pretty decent. You're looking at 42 health, a little on the low side. Um, but, I mean, if you're throwing this in like and using it offensively, it's a great card, hands down. Um, the stats aren't even really built to be defensive. However, like... If it had 8 to 10 more health, you could throw this in a defensive deck probably. Uh, but anyway, so 42 health. You're looking at a 5 cheer all, and that's that's open, so that's nice. That's 5 cheer all to any card on your play field. No uh, BGE or show required. A 9 bomb, which is increased right now um, uh, due to the uh, BGE going on. And then an 8 crazed. So this card will get pretty strong pretty fast. Um, we got Big Ass Gun here. Featuring Zap Brannigan. We got Amy and Kip in the back there. Uh, this one is... Um, I would say this one you can use in a defensive deck or an offensive deck. Because having an 11 punch and a 15 attack... Um, is pretty decent so using that for um, offense is pretty nice uh, defensive it's got 46 health which you know you, you want to be around the 50 threshold but it's got a 10 sturdy so in theory that's about like a 56 so this card could uh, hold up and not be one shotted potentially even by a pretty good guild uh, so big ass guns actually a pretty nice one cat guards um, I uh, don't know how to go into it in detail too much. However, um, Magician Jaso from Walkers of Gilmer. Um, he's a fantastic uh, YouTuber and a fantastic player. Um, he did a box that had this card in it already, and he went really in-depth with that. 
Um, that's the Spanish Cats box. So if you want to look up Magician Jaso or Spanish Cats box review on YouTube, you'll probably be able to find the video where he goes in depth with this. He'll even show you all the combos that it makes. But anyway, this is another one. Good defensive card. You're looking at 55 if you add in the sturdy. Um, a 10 cheer is wide open, so that's nice. The 8 motivate, however, is only good for the armed. So uh, while you're running an armed deck through this BGE, this card would definitely be a key one to keep in there. Afterwards, you uh, probably want to reevaluate that, though. Pretty good card. Uh, Cat Launcher. Old card, OG card. Um, definitely a defensive card. Uh, you, don't get me wrong. I mean, you make combos. There are a handful of combos this card goes with that are straight up offensive and are going to help you just tear apart the opponent. But uh, 63 health. I mean, that's that's a card you want on in a defensive deck for sure. Um, so that's an oldie but a goodie. Here it is, though. This is the reason I'm reviewing this box. We have Bill Dotrieve now as a legendary. Look at that. Uh, the stats, in my opinion, are not amazing. But the combos that Bill makes are awesome. Like, he, Bill is awesome, man. Um, so he was my last... Um, the last rare card that I used before I quit using rare altogether. I, I just like him and Quagmire actually, but I held on to Bill a little bit longer. I did not want to give those two up because the combos they were making were sick. They were better than most of my cards still. Um, and so the fact that you think about that and you can make all these combos that were great, but now they're actually great and they're legendary. I mean, that's insane. So you're looking at a 17 attacks, pretty decent. 37 health is low, so he's an offensive card. However, he's got the 10 shield that goes to other King of the Hill cards. Um, he's got a 7 bomb, and he's got a 5 uh, crazed, I'm sorry. And I, I'm, I'm shocked they didn't give him the, uh, the drunk, though. Uh, drunk BGE. You know, like Peter. Or like the original Bill card had, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, Bill is pretty sweet. I would love to get a hold of some of those. Um, that's why I'd love to buy out this box, but unfortunately I cannot. And you got Peter, again, everybody's favorite drunk guy. Or not, but Peter's solid. Great card. Very, very versatile as far as running an offense and defense deck. Um, let's come over here to our epics. We have uh, Positron Shooter Fry. Uh, this is your first epic PC card here. Um, you're looking at a 14 attack, a 35 health, a 10 heal, two other armed cards, a 6 hijack, and a 12 leech. Now to me, this is a pretty offensive card. Um, even if you get a quad of him with 35 health, that's pretty low. Um, the hijack is nice though. Um, not to mention he's leeching, keeping himself alive, and healing other armed cards though. So he's a good attribute to your deck still. Um, not the greatest. However, if you're comboing him, that's a new fry combo. If you're comboing him, uh, I would imagine all these stats are quite a bit better. And then you might you might have uh, more versatility with this card. But it's pretty decent. Uh, I haven't looked into this one yet at all. Santa Killer Haley here is your other epic PC. You've got 14 attack, 38 health. Um... 7 Motivate to other arm cards, a 9 Bodyguard, and a 9 Payback. So, it, if you're like a top guild, this is not a defensive card or a card that you would use. But, you know, if you're a top 200 guild even, though, this is probably a decent card to throw in for defense. Because um, uh, that that Payback, that Bodyguard's pretty nice, and, and you know... Unless you're facing somebody that has all quadded legendaries, 38's not necessarily um, one shotable, especially when you throw in nine bodyguard. Because, you know, most people that are one shotting you are using a card with high attack and high punch. So you're negating at least nine punch there or nine bomb damage. So the card's really not too bad. Uh, it would have been nice to see it at like a 44 or 46 health, though. Then we'd be talking. Uh, a little bit better but anyway you've got the same four that they keep putting in there 
Um, so I'm not going to review these. Like I said, if you're not uh, top tier yet, you know, by all means, use these, collect these. Um, I personally am holding on to one quad of each of them. I don't think they will ever make my deck again, but I could be wrong. We'll see once fighter's gone and I make 100%, um, I'm sorry, 100% armed deck. Or, well, that's not even true either. I use my other cards that I like for my flex. But anyway, um, so, you know, th those are not, they're not terrible. But if you're in a if you're in a top guild or you're running all legendary cards, there's no debating whether or not, well, if I got a quad of that, would it be worth it? No, just go ahead and recycle those um, like I haven't done yet. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the box. Personally, I mean... So you got a new legendary PC, two new um, combo cards, an old combo card, a new character card, an old character card, um, four old combo epics, and two new PC epics. Um, and, and for the most part, most of those cards are pretty good. I would say this box gets like a seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, maybe an 8. I don't know. I'd have to look into Big Ass Gun and see exactly what kind of combos it makes. Um, man, I just want that bill. I know I won't get him, but... You know, you guys sat through this, so... Let's go ahead and see what we get, at least. Positron Shooter for iTime 2. And Santa Killer Haley. Are you kidding me? Oh, it could be worse, but wow. All three of them are the epic PCs. I mean, I'm happy I got 41 uh, Mythic, though. That's nice. Uh, and never do what I'm about to do, but I'm about to buy a singular card. Because I just, there's a small part of me that's just like, it'll be Bill, but it's not going to be. Oh, it's a pirate cannon, Peter. Somehow I pulled four cards and it was only PCs. What are the odds of that? Actually extremely low. So that's pretty weird. Father, forgive me. I'm going to send one more. And it's going to be a waste. But I really just wanted a bill. And I just... A big-ass gun. What? What is this? Okay, before I waste all my gems on single pulls, though, I'm done. Um, honestly... That is not the pull I wanted, but that's not terrible. I, I, I'm I really baffled. Usually you have like a 50% chance of pulling one of these four, and then the rest of them are the other 50% chance. I mean, give or take. But yeah, so we have one of the legendary PC, one of the big-ass gun, two of the Positron, and one of the Santa Killer Haley. What a weird pull. Anyway, go ahead and check that box out, guys. Um, maybe you'll get lucky and you'll get a bill, and then you can rub it in my face. <laughs> so, I would say, well, with these weird odds, let's just, you know, I just backed out of it. Let's go back in there. And we're just going to go ahead and waste a, we're going to go ahead and waste a golden turd pull. Do that from time to time. And there it is. There's the wasted pull for you guys. Okay. Um, we got to have that low momentum to end the video on, right? Or how else would I be disappointed, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Before I forget, I'm going to change this. I don't need to do this on camera, but I am. I'm just hanging out with you guys longer than I need to. Sorry, guys. Uh, like I said, look for upcoming content in the next week or two. Um uh, oh yeah, there you go. We have 47 members. Um, still have some openings. Um, comment below or message me online if you'd like. Or look for our guild. I think it's still set public. Look at that. We only need 49 mythics, so that's coming up real soon here. Um, be on the lookout for that. If this will load real quick, I'll show you guys. This video is meant to be about 8 minutes, and it's going on 20 minutes right now. 
This is why my videos run over when I plan on doing them for a half hour to 40 minutes. They're an hour and then it cuts off. So as you'll see, we need 49. In three days, we'll have 25. If I do another box full somewhere in the middle of next week, um, I could potentially hit it. And if not, you're looking at about 10 more days. Um, there will be another Mythic video. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Um, just keep checking my channel. If you haven't liked uh, any of the videos or if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. That helps me out. Um, and, you know, it's going to keep you up and informed uh, when new things happen. And when there's new updates, uh, I like to try to share them with you guys as soon as I know and have the chance to make a video. Same with that. I knew about the bill card uh, midday yesterday after I was out and about uh, out of the house. So really wanted to make a video when I was informed he was in the new box. Um, plus, it's been a little bit since I've done a box review. So anyway, as always, guys. Keep doing what you do. Keep it real. We'll see you next time. KJX1337 out.